Hi, Martin. Hey, Valentin. Uh, I heard you wrote a web app and would like to run it in the cloud. Yes, I want a simple web app. Also, I love serverless and I need to deploy my app to the cloud. Today, we'll explore three different ways I can make that happen. You know, I'm a big fan of QR codes. They are one of the most underrated pieces of brilliant technology of the last decades. <laughs> well, they're uh, <coughs> beautiful. Uh, so what do you want to do with these things? Today, I'll show you a nice cloud app called Hotmaze to transfer a file from my computer to my mobile phone. For this, I could plug a USB cable or maybe uh, send myself an email or use a Dropbox or Google Drive. But I prefer QR codes. OK, that sounds neat. Uh, tell me more. I'll make a very quick demo. Here I have a picture of a gopher on my computer. I drag and drop it here and bam, uh, generating a QR code. Then I scan the QR code done and bam, I have the gopher on my phone. That's it. Oh, cool. Uh, does it also work with video files or text files? Yes, you can send any file you want. OK, uh, so this is a cloud service? Yes. The most simple way to achieve a transfer between the two devices who don't know each other very well is to have the computer upload to the cloud and the mobile download from the cloud. OK, uh, so where do you host the web page? And where do you upload the files? I have a strong preference for serverless because I don't have to manage instances myself, because of cost, I don't pay when it's not in use, and because of automatic scaling in case I have thousands of friends using the service at the same time to upload their own gophers. In Google Cloud, I'm spoiled for choices of serverless compute and hosting options. OK, so which one did you choose? All of them. I mean, there are several <laughs> valid combinations to choose from. Let's explore three possible options. First, App Engine Standard. I've been loving this one even before the word serverless existed. See, App Engine can both host my HTML and static resources and process what happens in the cloud backend when I drop a file executing my source code. First, I created a regular Go web server that I tested locally on my workstation. Then I could deploy it without modifying the source code. This is the command line I used to deploy to App Engine. I chose Go out of six languages available in App Engine standard. On file drop, we asked the web app to generate two secure URLs, one to let the browser upload to cloud storage, and one to let the phone download from cloud storage. OK, uh, but so far, the server is only connected to the web page in the computer browser. How can you push anything to the phone? Uh, you don't even know its IP address. That's the beauty of the QR code. The web page encodes the secure download URL inside the QR code. And this is all the info that is needed for the phone to retrieve the file when scanning the QR code and extracting the URL. Amazing. Uh, so to summarize, you did all this using App Engine and Cloud Storage? Yes, that was option number one. Option number two is Google Cloud Functions. You see, functions are great to quickly implement something to do in response to an event. Uh, for example, our events are someone just drag and dropped a file and someone just scanned a URL QR code. We also need to host the web page itself and for this, I recommend Firebase Hosting. I have a command to deploy each function and another command to deploy the website static assets. So Firebase Hosting for the front end and Cloud Functions for the back end logic and Cloud Storage for the temporary file? That's right. Functions are a modern approach for developing services that are stateless, loosely coupled, that process incoming events and communicate with each other by message passing. They are a good fit for fine-grained microservices. OK. Uh, you said you had a third serverless alternative? Yes. We can deploy the whole thing, front-end and back-end, to CloudRun. 
For my app, it's very similar to deploying to App Engine, but with explicit containers. So if you already have a container-driven workflow and use a container registry, then deploying to Cloud Run will be seamless. You can also install almost any binary dependency in, you need in a container, which is mind-blowing in my opinion. If, like me, you don't know that much about Docker files and container technologies, so though, you may like the ready-to-use build packs for deployment. Okay. Uh, Valentin, what's your recommendation? Well, the three serverless solutions work really well because the app design is stateless and all these platforms accept Go as a backend language. They all achieve high scalability and cost efficiency. If you want to know more about the small differences in the developer experience and in the infrastructure model trade-offs, please check the articles linked in the description. So I have hundreds of photos and videos of cats on my hard drive. Could I use your app to copy them to my phone? Photos of cats? Really? Yes, I guess you could use my app for that. Thank you for watching. You can also find the source code for this app in the description below. Feel free to add any questions you might have in the comments. Thank you.